well, then why do you do it? And I said, well, in the first place, I see an empty canvas. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to put something on it. It's a, it's a compulsion that I feel. Mm -hmm. I enjoy my painting years immensely. Okay, so <clears throat> where was I? I was about to make a point. You literally said it's oh, frustrating. No, I'm going to tell you how it is to paint with the hands that I have. Yeah. I would normally hold a paintbrush at about this distance, you know. Mm -hmm. I now hold it oh, wow. right down there. Yeah. Now, if you look closely there, you're going to see what can happen. Yeah. First of all, you see a lot of paint there, don't you? Yeah. So I'm dipping my paint in the red there, but my two knuckles are falling in the white. Yeah. And the next thing I know, I'm looking at this. Oh, I just brought out that highlight okay. there, and I look back, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> and I see where two knuckles full yeah. of paint have fallen in the middle of the horse's face. Yeah. Now, geez, I, I make that sound unusual. It happens in the course of a painting at least 15 times. Wow. Uh, not as... Uh, shockingly as that was, right in the middle of the horse's yeah. face. But no matter where it is, it's a problem. But if for, fortunately, acrylic paint dries quickly. If it's been there for 40 minutes, I can take something gently in a wet rag and clean it off mm -hmm. quickly and no damage done. Yeah. That's what I actually did in that case. Mm -hmm. The face was dry. Okay, so I go back and sit down again. Now this is not precisely true time-wise. You can give it at least another 10 minutes. And then the next thing I see, I'm <coughs> going to make my And I say, where in the fuck is the brush? <laughs> and the brush is falling on the floor. But I have no sensitivity in my fingers. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't feel that at all. I have to feel it by the pressure that I feel. Yeah, yeah. And if I frequently, I don't know I drop the brush until yeah. I get it up there to use it. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's even more frustrating when I can see the brush <laughs> on the floor, you know. So they are the two main things that yeah. happen. Yeah. But what happens is, and it takes a little bit of the... Uh, the sense of freedom out of it and the right. looks of freedom, freedom out of it. Right. This doesn't look quite as freely painted right. as this one does. Yeah. Uh, I don't think the average viewer is going to, especially if this isn't alongside of Yeah. <clears throat> but at any rate, at least that is where yeah. If I'm doing fine lines, but you can see now, now that that would move carefully off the line about yeah. that much. Yeah. Now if I were to do it from here, yeah. you can see what would happen. Yeah. And that would not only be because my hand shakes a little bit. I have a relatively stable hand. Yeah. But it just does. Yeah. It tends to widen the area. Yeah. Uh, the uh, exposed. Error probability is an area like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But you've adapted. The solution is to get it down as close to the hair yeah. and as far away from the two fucking knuckles <laughs> as you can get it. Okay, so that's the story uh, and answers Lily's question. Yeah.